In this video, we're going to talk about calculating average rate of change in a context and interpreting it. So we have a company that produces televisions, and they find that they can model their revenue with the following function, negative 0.5x squared plus 12x minus 4, where x is measured in hundreds of televisions and r is measured in thousands of dollars. So this will be important. Find and interpret the average rate of change between x equals 2 and x equals 4. So to compute average rate of change, we're going to calculate the, our function evaluated at 4, minus our function evaluated at 2 over 4 minus 2. Output over input. Rate of change is change in output over change in input. Just like slope, change in y over change in x. So we have to use our function to calculate these outputs. f of 4 is our function with 4 input. So I'm going to put 4 in for x and calculate. What I'm going to get when I do that is 36. Alright, so I'm going to leave you guys to verify that, but f of 4 with this function is equal to 36. So I decided to call it, uh, call this guy also f of x. I gave it a another name there as well as r. f of 2, you plug 2 in and you're going to get 18. So I'll leave the calculating up to you guys. I'm more interested in seeing how we interpret this. So on top we got 36 minus 18. So 36 minus 18 is 18 over 2 or 9. Now we have to talk about the units on this 9. Start with the units then you can build to your interpretation. Remember this was change in output over change in input. So the 9 is change in output units per cha unit change in input. So we got to find our output units first. R is measured in thousands of dollars. All right. So let's just actually write it out first, and we'll fix it when we so thousands of dollars per one cha unit change in input. Remember, one unit was a hundred televisions. Television. So per one hundred TVs. So, our average rate of change, what we found is that it's $9,000 per 100 TVs on average. We also found that it was positive. What that, also, what that tells us is our revenue was increasing. So, what we can say for our interpretation between 200 and 400 TVs sold revenue because that's our output our rate of change is always going to be talking about what's happening with our output revenue is increasing we know it's increasing because it's positive On average, I think that's important to put in here because we are talking about an average rate of change. On average, by two ways you'll see this written. You might see 9,000 per 100 TVs. Or we could actually cancel 100 out of the top and bottom. Revenue is increasing on average by $90 per television. All right, so both of those you'll see, um, both of those can be considered correct for the interpretation. The big thing is getting how to find the units. We did a change in output over change in input, and so it'll always be the output units per unit change in input. And then this is how we can interpret it.